Hello everyone, Elias5891 here with another Catane module tutorial. This time we're covering the souvenir module. Uh, we'll take a quick look at it so you know what it looks like. This is one like Forget Me Not that you're going to want to know about as soon as you start a bomb. So they look like that, they say welcome to souvenir at the beginning. Uh, and you'll notice I have a considerable number of other modules on my bomb. Uh, reason for this is what souvenir will do is as you progress through the bomb, it will prompt you about the modules you've already completed. So due to that, we have to have some other modules to complete. Uh, now, I am going to go ahead and cut ahead a little bit until I've mostly solved these. That way you don't have to watch me spend 10-15 minutes disarming a standard bomb. We'll get down to the focus of what the souvenir would look like. So we're going to pause and cut ahead and then we'll kind of talk about souvenir. Alright, I'm back. I've taken a look at these. I've gotten about as far as I can on some of them. Uh, so let's take a look at what souvenir is. Uh, as we go through, it's going to randomly pop up questions about modules we've already solved. Now, the manual page for souvenir is just a list of all the questions you might get. Uh, so, Preferably, both your expert and your diffuser have read through this page, roughly know which modules are going to require souvenir, because not all of them do, and can quickly reference, if they don't already know, what they need to keep in mind from souvenir. So let's get the edge work on this, uh, because some of these I do have to keep working some stuff out in later stages. We'll work through some of these, and we'll see how souvenir kicks in. Uh, we have three batteries and two holders. Lit NSA. Let's go ahead and get the serial number here. Uh, we have a lit FRQ. A parallel port. And three serial ports. Alright. Uh, let's start with more schematics. Uh, and let's reference real quick. Let's take a look. Okay. In Morsematics, we need to know the received letters. We need to know what three letters are blinking at us. Well, I looked at that while we were paused. The letters are Papa, Echo, Alpha. P-E-A-P. -E so that's the first thing that we're going to write down. And as the expert, if I'm the expert who does Morsematics, I'm going to take note of that. I'm going to obviously take note of that anyway to solve the module, but I'm not going to get rid of it when I'm done. I'm going to keep that to the side somewhere so I can reference it again later. Uh, the answer to this one I got was M dash dash green. Uh, next up, let's do cheap checkout. For cheap checkout, what do we need to know? We need to know the paid amounts. Okay, cheap checkout. 34 was our pay, is our paid amount. Um, it doesn't ask about the items, so I'm not going to go over those. I did calculate this out, and this was an underpayment. So we're going to resubmit and get a new paid amount of $49, which we're also going to note. Uh, based on what I got, that should give us change of $1.08, which is correct. Ah, and here we go. So here's our first question from this one. What was the second paid amount in cheap checkout? That was $49. Uh, notice on the back, these have also kicked in. What was the second amount? Let's say I miss one. Let's say I think it's $14. I make a boo-boo. It'll flash the correct answer, so I can go ahead and answer it and get that one knocked off. Uh, what was the first received letter in Morsematics? Let's leave that one alone for a minute. I want to demonstrate what happens if you don't solve it. Uh, here's Hexamaze. Uh, it is a... S let's see what we need. For Hexamaze, what color was the pawn? Well, for hexamaze, we have a cyan pawn. And our directions were... F six, 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 That's done. Uh, what was the second letter received in Morsematics? That was an echo. Uh, third letter was an alpha. Uh, for 3D maze, I walked my maze. What do we need to know here? We need to know the markings, which are the three letters to identify the maze, as well as the cardinal direction. Uh, I wandered this one around. This is maze ABC, 
And in ABC, my cardinal direction was west. So I walked around, figured it out, pretty sure that this is the correct wall, which it is. Uh, second letter in Morsematics was an E. First paid amount in cheap checkout was... Now see, that's something you might not keep written down. Uh, it's 34, though. We wrote that down. Um, let's do Simon Screams. Uh, for the first stage, I had orange, purple, green. Looks like the same rule applies. In which case... Blue, yellow, orange. And let's look at what we need for this before I finish it up. I may have made an error here. Simon Screams. Which rules applied in which stages? And what colors flash? So that's a lot. So, rules. Uh, so for the first two stages, my uh, two colors clockwise adjacent rule has kicked in. Uh, that's actually the same rule that's going to apply in this one as well. And we also want to know the little color slash that's orange, green, blue, red, purple, yellow, orange, green, blue? Let's confirm that. Orange, green, blue, red, purple, yellow, orange, green, blue. So that is my entire sequence of colors. Uh, and for this third stage, I have orange, purple, green is the answer. That's done. Uh, first paid amount in cheap checkout was $34. What color flashed third in the final sequence? Orange, green, blue. So that's done. Uh, let's polish off uh, orientation cube. What do we need for this? We need to know where is the observer's initial position. So orientation cube, my eye is on the right. Uh, my answer for this one I got was left anti-clockwise set. And notice, look here, Souvenir has a green light. I'm done with these two. The thing with Souvenir is it's not necessarily going to ask you all the way through the bomb. I'm 99% certain that the rules it takes, the number of non-Souvenir modules, halves it and aims to ask that many questions. So since I had eight non-souvenirs, the goal was to ask four questions total. And once I've hit those four, it turns green and I'm done with it. Uh, and you'll notice I haven't even started this one yet. I kind of saved it toward the end. It just means when I answer my first one, it's just going to start giving me all of the questions back to back instead of doing them one step at a time. Uh, cyan and $49 screen. And that's how Souvenir is going to operate. Uh, now, I could go ahead and finish this. Uh, I don't particularly see a need to, but I could. Nah, I'm good. There we go. Forgot that one had some extra strikes. And that's the concept of how Souvenir works. Uh, now, I do want to illustrate one more thing with Souvenir. Alright, so let's look at something else. Uh, I've this time, I've got a free play bomb set up. The only two modules on it are Souvenir and Anagram. And you'll notice here, Anagram does not show up on this list of things it might ask about. So, what happens in that case? It's not going to have any questions for me. Welcome to Souvenir. Uh, four Anagrams, so I should try to come up with two questions. So it's still waiting for something with valid questions. It didn't find any, so it's like, congratulations. I'm out of questions, I got nothing else I can ask you. I know I'm not going to get anything else because you're done with modules, so congratulations. You say thank you, and it is complete. Uh, now that will happen any time it kind of runs out of questions before the expected number of questions have been generated. At least that's my understanding of it. 
Uh, so I'm going to try one more. We'll go back to... Activate that. We'll go back to this training mission here. And we'll kind of work through a full bomb together. See some of the other rules. Now I'm not going to go over all the rules on this one because, like uh, modules against humanity, this module is constantly shifting. It's constantly improving. New rules are getting added when new modules come out. And sometimes rules get added for old modules when good ideas come up. So this is one that, you know, I can write this tutorial. You can kind of see what it's like right now, but it will change. So if you don't see something in this list, doesn't mean that it's not going to ask for it when you're actually doing one. Anyway, let's go ahead and solve one. Uh, what do we have that would be quick and easy? Let's get edge work. We have two batteries and one holder. Uh, unlit IND lit FRK. I think I have the serial number over here. Let's go ahead and jot that down. H4. Uh, oof, lots of stuff here. Unlit CLR, unlit SIG, portwise, RCA, PS2, DVI, unlit TRN, lots of unlit port, or unlit indicators. Alright, and let's start doing stuff. Uh, skewed slots. What do we need for skewed slots? We need... What were the original numbers? Alright. Skewed slots. The original numbers are 434. Uh, do some calculations over here real quick. And we should get an answer of 121. Alright, uh, next up, we have adjacent letters. What do we need for adjacent letters? Uh, hmm. I don't see it on the list. I think that may be one that we had a question for and it was taken off. So it looks like adjacent letters is actually not going to prompt us any questions. So we can go ahead and solve that. I did that while I paused. Uh, I also did connection check while we paused. Uh, what do we have for connection check, though? Uh, what are the initial colors on connection check and reading order? Now, this is one of the things that uh, throws some people off and why you definitely want to look at this list before you dig in. This is not something you're going to give... If you're the diffuser, this is not something you're going to give your expert. They don't need to know what color these default as. But for this module, you do. In this case, it's red, green, red, red. So, something to be aware of. Uh, for this one, connection check, uh, we had false true, false true. Um, seashells. What do we have on seashells? I like seashells. What were the full phrases in seashells? This is another one, at least when I do it. I listen, but I don't actually write down what the phrases are. So, this is something we need to take note of. Uh, it's hotel echo, hotel echo on the itch. And I'm going to write down that. That should be enough for me to... Hee <laughs> hee, itch. Uh, that should be enough for me to backtrack and figure out what I had. Uh, so it should be twitch, witch witch, switch, twitch, witch, switch. Okay, second stage is hotel, hotel, echo, echo, toucan. Hotel, Echo, Echo, Toucan, alternating between Can, Can, and Can, like so. Uh, hotel, Echo, Hotel, Hotel, Sushi. That's going to be Shu, Shi, Sushi, Sushi, Shu, Shi. That's done. 
Uh, Mouse in the Maze, what do we have? This one might take me a moment, because I haven't wandered this one yet. Uh, in Mouse in the Maze, we need to know the color of the Taurus and the color of the Goal Sphere. Ooh. Uh, again, things I don't necessarily write down. I just kind of work on and then go. Uh, so let me flip to my mouses here. Uh, so let's see. We have a green sphere here. Can go one or two down corridors. That's going to put us in maze three. So I want to take the one path and then hook it right. Uh, my Taurus is white. In this particular maze, a white horse <laughs> leads to a green sphere exit. So uh, I think I can find that one pretty quick. Hey, hot dog, there it is. Uh, and let's go to the back. There's some, uh, there's some seashells. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can, I think we might have enough questions to finish this. Uh, what were the first and second word in the first phrase of a seashell? That was H-E. She sells. Uh, end of the second phrase, uh, toucan. Uh, what does toucan mean? We can look that up. Toucan is the sore option. Uh, third and fourth word, third phrase. That would be hotel, hotel. She shells. Uh, still need some more questions. Uh, let's knock out Morse then. PX. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Working, 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 working. Pause if you want to see if you can work that out. Alright, I'm getting. G is my answer. Green light. Uh, third and fourth word, third phrase, HH. There's my HH option, third, fourth word, third phrase, HH, just said that. Third, fourth word, first phrase, that was Hotel Echo. Go. Uh, I guess we're doing fast math. Uh, what do we need for fast math? We haven't done that one. What is the last pair of letters? Ooh, this is going to be tricky doing it solo, so we're going to need to pay attention to which is the last pair of letters. Uh, let's start. We have X-Ray Zulu, 78. TA, 35. XC, 27. There's more. SS is 74. SS, SS, nope, AT. AT is 55. Is AT the last one? Is AT? Yes, AT is the last one. So, fast math, we ended with AT. Uh, which color sphere was the goal in Mouse Maze? Our goal was a green sphere. The color was the Taurus. It was white. Uh, end of the second phrase was Echo Echo EE. -E. So, oh, no, no, no. End of the second phrase. Uh, that's Toucan. I think I looked that up earlier. Toucan is Soar. Uh, we still need more questions, so I guess we're going to do Hex Maze. Uh, we've already looked at Hex Maze, so it's a red peg. Uh, let's figure this out real quick. Feel free to pause and do it as well. That's what I'm going to do. All right, a little anticlimactic. That's done. Souvenir. What was the color of the pawn? Well, I just did that. That was red. Uh, what was the second received letter in Morse? That was a papa. What was the last pair of letters in Fast Math? That was an AT, and we are done. Uh, now I'm going to briefly talk about the ones we haven't really looked at, because some of them you do want to be on the lookout for. But keep in mind, this list is not necessarily exhaustive at the time uh, that you've watched this video, because things change. Uh, so what we have... Um, we haven't done an adventure game. You need to know your strength, intelligence, and dexterity before you take a potion. Something usually that 
the fuse will just kind of do on their own ahead of time. Something you got to slow down for on this one. You'll need your pre-potion stats as well as your post-potion stats for actually solving it, as well as all the correct items you used. Uh, in bitmaps, you'll need how many pixels were white or black in a particular quadrant. Uh, in broken buttons, you'll need every correct button you pushed. Normally, you only record the first one. For this, you're gonna need them all. Uh, we did cheap checkout. Uh, chess, you're gonna need the coordinates. Uh, colored squares, you're gonna need the first color you started with. Uh, the initial number in double O is something that some people kind of move around on sometimes. So you'll need to record that number where you start on double O. Uh, forget me not. I, I like it that the memory references the other memory. Uh, you'll need to know the displayed numbers in each stage. You should be taking those anyway for forget me not. And actually, souvenir can help you avoid a strike and forget me not by getting lucky on souvenirs. So nice bonus. Uh, listening the correct code, just the answer again. On a monsplode fight, the creature and the moves. Uh, in murder, the suspects and the weapons, as well as where the body was found. Uh, neutralization, the color and volume, should have that written down. Uh, only connect was the position of the all of the Egyptian hieroglyphs, not just the one that you choose, so make sure you keep that recorded. Again, something you probably should have. Uh, which pegs made up the solution to perspective pegs? By this it means, like, it'll say, what was the first peg in the answer, and the answer will be their top, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So it wants to know, kind of looking from the front of the module, what order did you click three pegs? Which three pegs did you click in order? Uh, we did seashells. Silly slots, you need to know the slots in each stage. Should be recording that. Uh, Simon screams, we kind of looked at. Simon states, which colors flashed at each stage. Not something I personally write down, so maybe something you need to add. Uh, the original numbers and skewed slots, the correct button pushes in bulb, and all query responses in two bits. So you'll need to record each number set that you get back on that one. Uh, but that is Souvenir. That's how it works. Um, I'll probably update this if we get some significant changes to it. Lots more things added or subtracted. Uh, until next time, though, this has been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and don't explode. Bye, guys.